today we are going to create a all clock in SketchUp. Make it a rule of tool. Creating a rule in such a way that we are that it that are intersecting at a common point. Create a circle with 40 segments of 0.3 radius. Again making use of ruler and moving it in x-axis. As ruler are very important in creating objects at particular axis. I am creating a rectangle. This shape is going to create a base of the wall clock. I am just creating a section of the base of vocal clock. Just delete the unwanted segments. Now we have created a base section of the wall clock. Now we are wanted to create a glass panel at the top of the wall clock. Creating a thickness of 3 mm by using a fillet tool. We have to fill the segments. Before we have to fill the segments, we are making it as a group. Now again, fill the segments. Filling the segments will create a face evenly. Now again, make it as a group. We are using that two parts letter. Now again, moving on to the base base circle. We have to fill it according to the top section of the wall clock. We are doing it for number system in a wall clock. It is not aligning properly. So what I am going to do is make use of a ruler tool. Again, we have to fill it. Again, it is not aligning properly. I don't know why why, why this happens. So I am making creating a circle. Now delete the interface. No, we do not want to delete the interface. It will be useful in creating a numbers. So make use of number tool. Make sure that the height is properly aligned. I have setting it to 0 0.05 meter. Now making a copy of a ruler and divide it by 3. This will help in placing our number in a wall clock. Now I am just placing the number according to that ruler. The rulers are very important in placing our objects and rotating it in proper direction. As we are placing it evenly according to the rulers. And now finally we have placed all the number system in the wall clock. We are just selecting the numbers in the wall clock 
and making it as a single group. Now scaling it height. We know that block contains hour and minute and, and seconds and so we want it to create it. For that I am just deleting the unwanted phase, unwanted rulers. It is the center point of a wall block. It is very important. Now what I am going to do is creating a copy and moving it in X direction. From the reference point, I am creating another circle. Make it of a center point. I am going to create our hover hand. I am just making it as some designs. Just fill it to 3 mm. We are creating some sharp point so that it ind indicates the number. So that I am all um, again making a curve. Now closing all the segments. When we close properly, it will create a perfect face. To make it sharp, I am just using a line. Now the face is created. Now what we are going to do is select the whole face and move it in y direction and we are scaling it to minus 1 and we have to join it together. And we have to delete the unwanted segments. Make sure that it contains the face. Make it as a group. We are just press pulling it to 5 mm. Make the face evenly colored. So we have to orient faces. Now Move the tower hand at a distance of 2 meter, 1 meter. Now again, we have to create a minute hand. So I'm again using the arc tool and making it as a design. Again, fill it to 3 mm. Again, filling the segments. To create a face. I am just making a change between the hour and the minute hand. I 
as the hover hand is always smaller than the minute hand. I am just filling the segments by creating a curve using the arc tool we are filling the segments filling the segments properly will create a sketch as you can see here to make it sharp for indicating the numbers we are again going to create another curve again filleting it to 3 mm and just did it unwanted segments we are again just joining the segments by making it sharp Now the face is created. Just select the whole and move it in y direction and scaling it to minus one in y direction. Now we have to join it together. Now we have to delete the unwanted segments. Make sure that you don't delete the axis, ruler axis. Delete the smaller unwanted segments it doesn't look good so we are going to make some modifications delete that face select the hole and move it to the center Now we are making it as a group and again press pull it to 5 mm. Make it smooth. Now we have to move it at a particular distance. I am moving it to 1 meter. Now we have to create a min second sand. I am press pulling it to 3 mm. Before that, we are just creating a section before press pulling it. I do not want to delete the axis ruler. So I am just selecting it like it and delete it. For that indication, we have to create another rectangle. We have created it large, so we have to make it small. Again, we have to create a rectangle. Delete the unwanted segments. Select it and elongate it along it along the x direction. It just looks like simple. So we are just wanted to make a curve. So so it looks like elegant. The 
Sanskrit is so we have done any kind of mistakes so we are making it smaller so that it face creates delete the noted segments now select the whole and move it in y direction and scale it minus 1 so that it rotates in x direction even the opponent it is make it together and select the unwanted segments delete it i am just press pulling it to 3 mm move it to 0.5 meter the hour and the minute are and are at same distances so i am just moving it We have created this hour and a minute and second hand. We are just creating the bottom support. For that, I am creating a circle. After creating circle, I am just press pulling it. I am press pulling it according to the desired position, desired height. Using the fillet tool, again press pull it. I am just press pulling it to 5 mm. We are just modify, modifying the height. Now what we are going to do is just position our hour hand and minute hand. As you know that, that the hour hand always comes at the bottom. So we are first placing the hover hand. Select it and move it in center of that point. Move the hover hand to the center of this point. We are just press pulling down by 2 mm. So that it matches its height. We are adjusting the heights. As we are moving to the center. We are just scaling it as it looks very large. As our end always smaller in the plot. Just delete the unwanted faces created in that our clock, our end. Now again position it to the center. Now position the minutes hand. I 
as you can see here as the minute hand is looking greater and now the second hand we are placing it in center now we have to just adjust the heights to make some modifications i am just moving it in upper direction make sure that each and everything is in a group modifying the bottom support press pull it to 3 mm and again press pull it to 3 mm again press pull for second hand now placing the hover hand we are just placing the hover hand to the bottom of that wall cup and now here comes our minute hand we are placing the minute hand up above the hover hand and now it's a second hand we are placing it on top of that support now we just want it to rotate we are just rotating it in random direction rotating the minute hand at random direction just to look like that the clock is working condition now we have created all kinds of hour and and minute hand now just select the whole and make it as a group now do it the circle now move it from the reference axis now it looks like a clock but it is not finished yet we are just selecting the bottom circle what we have to do is we have to export a group Selecting the face, and it will create a bottom part, bottom part of the wall cup. Make it as a group. Now again, export it. Again, use follow me tool to create a class section. Just create, make it as a group. For visibility, we are moving it in x direction. Now what we are going to do is 
select the numbers and hour hand and minute hand and move it in up direction that is easy like this selecting the bottom of the number kit you are just moving it in to touch the face of the base, base of the wall clock now it is positioned correctly before placing the class holder we are just coloring that in the portion of that wall clock and just in decreasing the tone as this pattern looks nice and just making use of it for that minute hand and second hand i am just using it using the metal and increasing its tone for the class section we are using class and just using the blue tone of that class and decreasing its opacity according to to desired positions and levels it looks fine i am just rotating it by making it as a single group rotating it by 90 degrees I am just creating a wall for demonstration. Using test pool for thickness of the wall. wall clock is upside down so we have to rotate it now i am just want to go into color that wall making it as a lighter blue and finally our wall clock is made 